Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel. With me right now is Diego Perez. Diego, nice to have you out here. How you feeling? I feel great. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say you should feel great because you are going into your third fight with UNF and the first two, you got them W's and your second fight, your last fight was voted match of the night. You and Chase literally had a dog fight, man, and it was exciting stuff. Tell us how you feel. Um, you know, I'm really happy to be uh, fighting for UNF and be on a little bit of a win streak. Um, I think the fact that I'm currently like on a on a roll right now in UNF is directly attributable to my uh, my coaches and my training partners. They've like really showed me a, a new level that I can achieve. So being surrounded by like all these champions, all these like extremely competitive guys really brings the best out of me. And, you know, I've been I've been able to reach into that next little level in my past couple of fights and really drag it out of guys. And you saw that in the Chase Peel fight. Yeah, and you mentioned that, you know, you talk about your coaches, you talk about being able to pull out a little bit more of yourself like you did in that chase fight. Talk to us about, because I feel that, you know, in every fight, I feel like the guy, you'll learn something about yourself when you're in there. So what would you say was like the biggest thing you took away from yourself as a fighter in your last two fights here with Up Next? Um, you know, fighting is so mental and a big part of the training that we do at uh, CMMA, it's like very... Um, it's focused on the mental aspect of it. It's like we'll have these challenges presented to us and we have to find a way to overcome them. And in the moment, in the fight, when the lights are on and you're in the middle of like basically like a death match in a cage with another animal, you know, um, it becomes, uh, it really becomes about the will to live, the will to survive. So what I've learned is that I can always push a little bit further and you can always make a choice to continue. So you either choose to fail or you choose to succeed. You know, I like that because as we know, you know, MMA is not just a physical sport, but it's also a mental game. And the way that you kind of broke it down right now, it's almost like survival by all odds, right? Like when you go in there, you're like, I'm going to survive regardless of what goes down in there. So for you, how do you mentally prepare for your fights, for these challenges? Mm, I just, uh, I mean, the preparation is way before the fight. It's in the long hours of training that we do, the running, the lifting, the sparring, um, training twice a day, 10 times a week, basically, you know? Um, so it's a lot of like visualization. It's a lot of reading for me. I like to read personally. Um, it's a lot of just like watching techniques and then it's, then it's just having faith, having faith in yourself, having faith in your training. What kind of books do you read? Uh, I like a lot of historical, historical nice. stuff. You know what I mean? I like reading about like ancient generals and samurais and shit like that, you know? Oh, that's really I like cool. I like, I like fantasy and stuff, too. You know, I'm kind of a dork, so. Yeah, like, I take all the books. You know, it's not every day that you hear that people are like, I still like to read. I like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let's be sure. real. Let's yeah, be real yeah. there. Okay, so, you know, you're 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 on a winning streak right now with UNF. So, with that being said, like, uh, what are your goals for the rest of the year? What's something that you still want to accomplish within MMA? Um, so, basically, the vision that I had uh, kind of came to me over the pandemic, actually, is... Uh, I want to be a champion. I want to be a champion in an organization around here. I just want to hold a belt, you know? Um, I want to be able to say, you know, like, before I died that I was, like, a combat sports champion. Um, and I came pretty close. I had a kickboxing match, you know, that was for a championship. And uh, we actually, I ended up drawing with a guy, you know, after, like, a knockdown, drag-out fight, fucking gnarly fight, you know? Um, so I still haven't achieved that, and that's kind of what I'm going for right now. I'm shooting for that. Whether it's with UNF or with, like, another organization, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I want to do that. I want to be like, I'm, gonna sh I'm a fucking champion. Well, if it helps, we got our championship belt right back here. So that should definitely draw some inspiration. Diego, I want to thank you so much for chatting with me here today. And thank you to everybody watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one.